The number five trick is this. The amount of sleep you get before midnight counts way more than the amount of sleep you get after midnight. All right, so from my experience, because I sleep at 8 p.m. every day, the amount of time from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m., those four hours, they count more than four hours. And that is why even if I go to sleep at 8.30, sometimes it's 8.30, right? Because I read at night and, and, um, and that uh, sometimes it's like a half an hour read, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, just depends on how fast I fall asleep. But even if I go to sleep at 8.30 and I wake up at 3.30 a.m., those seven hours of sleep are enough for me. And I know this because when I used to sleep later, I used to need eight and a half to nine hours of sleep. And I sometimes would have taken a nap during the day. But in this case, waking up at 3.30 a.m. and sleeping around 8 p.m. is the optimal way to live and do this seven nights a week. Figure it out, man. Look, you have a life of, of partying or drinking or smoking or doing drugs or staying up late at night doing your homework or, uh, I don't know, chatting with your friends, going to parties. That's your choice. I'm telling you that if you want to fix your health, which in my opinion is the number one single most important thing for anyone, for any human being. So if you want to fix your health, get back in shape, have confidence, have focus, have high energy levels, high libido, high confidence in the bedroom. You just want your performance to be top notch. You got to fix your sleep right away. Now, how can you do that? Oh, that's easy, man. You can uh, you can go watch Andrew Huberman's talks. You, you can watch lots of stuff I've done. There's, I mean, you name it. Uh, Matt Walker has a lot of videos that he's done podcasts with Tim Ferriss and Andrew Huberman and Peter Atiyah. Like there's so many awesome people you can figure out how to sleep better. But the point is you need to give it importance. Now, as you watch me here and I tell you, go to sleep at 8 p.m., if you're having doubts, if you're if you have arguments in your in your mind, like, oh no, I'm not gonna do that, that's crazy. Well, you've already lost. The first step is to full on make a decision that you are ready to do this, and then the answer will emerge. You will see the answer, you will know exactly how to do it. When I was in New York, 2016-ish. I used to wake up at 5 a.m., sleep at 9 p.m. I only did it for a few months, and then I went back to a shitty schedule. But I have been trying to do a routine of sleeping at 8, waking up at you know, 3.30, 4 a.m. for probably about nine years now. I mean, I always loved this schedule, but I could never figure out how to do it. It took me nine or ten years to figure this out. Well, start now. Maybe you can figure it out way before I did. So that's number five. 